Hello and welcome to pmclounge.com. Today we are talking about rolling wave planning and you can see an image of waves. Why are they there and why do we have progressive elaboration written just below rolling wave planning? So you'll get to know all of that in this video. Before we begin, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and hit the bell icon to stay notified whenever we upload a new video. Now rolling wave planning, just to give you a context and a background, this is a technique of the define activities process. Define activities process is part of the schedule management knowledge areas. We are discussing schedule management knowledge area these days and I'll share a link in the description below to all the videos that we have done on schedule management knowledge area as of date. So rolling wave planning is a part of define activities process. It is a technique used in define activities process. With that being said, let's get started. So what are we dealing with here from the define activities process? We already know that work packages are divided into activities. So watch our video on define activities, especially if you're not aware of what define activities is. And I'll also share a link to our videos on WBS, the work breakdown structure, so that you have an idea of what work packages are. So in the define activities process, just for the benefit of this video, I'll give you a brief that in the define activities process, this is where we divide or decompose the work packages into activities. But there are certain questions here. Do you want to divide all the work packages into activities in the planning phase itself? So do you want to do all the work in the planning phase itself these this process is from the planning uh, process group right so do you want to divide every single work package in your project into activities in the planning phase itself is that even possible do you even have all the information that you would need to do so so a work package could be anything right do you have the information to decompose that work package into activities that it will take to achieve that work package you might not have that in the planning phase what if your project has 1000 or 10,000 work packages? Wouldn't it take forever? A very legit question. If you, if your project is a giant project, it's a mega project and you have 10,000 work packages that you will be delivering as part of your project. Do you want to divide every single one of those 10,000 work packages into activities, the actual activities it will take to achieve those work package in the planning phase itself. Wouldn't it take forever? When are you going to start your execution? Can you decompose work packages into activities as their delivery draws closer? Now, this is a question. This is an open question. Actually, can you do that? Can you wait for the delivery date of a work package? Let's say the delivery date for the work package is three weeks from now or a month from now. Can you then start decomposing that work package into activities rather than doing that upfront in the planning phase itself when the delivery date for a work package is 11 months ahead? Can you wait till the delivery date clause, you know, draws closer? But then isn't this a bit counterintuitive? Don't you think project management is all about planning every single detail possible? Now, this is a catch 22 sort of situation, right? Don't you think in project management as a PMP certified project manager, you should be planning every single detail possible. And on that question comes in a concept known as progressive elaboration. What is progressive elaboration? Let's talk about the bookish definition first. So progressive elaboration involves continuously improving and detailing a plan as more detailed and specific information and more accu accurate estimates become available. So what we are doing here is we are continuously improving and detailing our plan. So continuously improving and detailing our project plan as and when more detailed and specific and accurate estimates and information is available. So yes, as a project manager, you should plan every single detail possible. But the concept of progressive elaboration tells you that you should improve and detail your plan as and when you get more detailed, specific and accurate information available. The other thing is 
This concept allows the project management team to define work and manage it to a greater level of detail as the project evolves. So like I said earlier, you may not have all the information that you would need for a work package that is, let's say, among some of the last work packages that you need to deliver. You may not have all the information for that work package. So as you go further in your project, as the delivery date for those work packages draws closer, you will have more information and you'll be able to plan accordingly in a much better detail. Now, it should be noted that rolling wave planning and prototypes, these are two forms of progressive elaboration. Thus, it is important to understand progressive elaboration before we dive deeper into rolling wave planning. So that's why we talked about progressive elaboration here. We've already discussed prototypes in one of our previous videos. I'll share a link to that video in the description below. But in the next slide, let's talk about rolling wave planning. So rolling wave planning, what it does is it is a technique in the define activities process, as we have already discussed. This ensures that detailed planning is done for work packages to be delivered in the near term, while only a high level planning is enough for work packages to be delivered later. So two things to note here is near term and delivered later, right? So work packages to be delivered in the near term. That is what you're doing detailed planning for work packages to be delivered later. This is where a high level planning is good enough. So this is the entire concept of rolling wave planning. Now, as the project progresses and requirements become clearer, your project requirements also become clearer as your project progresses, right? So more detailed planning for the work packages can be done. To be precise, you basically plan as you go. So you don't plan every single thing in the beginning itself, but you plan as you go. A good question here. Do you smell agile in this entire concept? If yes, that's because agile actually makes use of the rolling wave planning technique. So that, there's your answer if you thought that uh, this sounded like agile. So are you saying that in the traditional project management method, we use agile to a certain extent? Well, definitely, yes, we do. The whole idea is to plan an iteration in detail, deliver it, and move to the next iteration. This is the whole idea of Agile, right? You plan an iteration, you deliver, and then you move to the next iteration. That's what Agile is. And that is what you're doing here. It's just that you're not delivering as such. What you're doing is planning in detail, completing the work package, and then moving on to other work package, planning that in detail, and then delivering the entire project as a whole. That's traditional project management for you. So do you also see shades of prototyping here? That's an open question for you. Let us know in the comments. So that is all that we had in this video. Hope you liked it. Hope you were able to understand the concept of rolling wave planning and progressive elaboration here. Hit the bell icon to stay notified. And a lot of people ask this question on what books they should buy. So pmclounge.com slash PMP preparation resources with a dash in between those three words. The link is available on your screen right now. Don't forget to check out the website pmclounge.com, your number one free resource for PMP and other project management certification as well as project management industry information. Thank you.